Phoenix computer monitors. That's better. That's the way a Hewlett Packard should be. Hmm. That one's a tough one. Oh, well, I've decided to crush this poor old Toyota, so I'm going to give it one last run. I've got a good battery in there, so I'll see if I can get it started. I noticed the battery was dead because the accessories are stuck on, that's why it's not working. And that key doesn't even work, so that's why the battery was originally dead. Beautiful. engine's badly damaged, the welch plug's bleeding like mad. Nothing. He did a bit of damage, but it's alright. <laughs> uh -huh, you it's got stuck. Me. Rotate. Right off. <laughs> <Where's one? laughs> well. No, I haven't got him in the video. <laughs> There we go. Big stop! <laughs> Alright, made a couple of good finds today. Got another universal appliance motor to destroy, hopefully. This one's pretty worn. Combars are burnt and worn down, but we'll see if I can get some uh, activity out of it. Lovejoy coupling from a big uh, speed reduction drive. It was just a motor and a big uh, worm drive speed reducer. Rubbers are a bit worn, but they'll uh, do the job. Good for direct driving things with electric motors. Takes up the vibration and any shaft play. And in here is a genuine three-quarter horsepower Century Repulsion Start Induction Motor. I'm going to try and get it off this mangled old saw bench. The bench is a bit much of a mess to fix up, but I'll uh, pillage the motor and some of these neat little hand wheels and things. Very old. Very, very old. There's a drill for the, um, what do you call it, dowel pins. That looks like it's even got a router bit on it. Hmm. Belt drive, it's got probably uh, Babbitt bearings in there. Might try and salvage the Babbitt bearings as well, but yeah, it's old.